What's up, everybody? It's me, your boy, the Fluffy Gamer. Today is Tuesday, February the 27th. I went out and I hit a few thrift stores and I got lucky today. I found some good stuff. Went to three different stores, found something at each one. Today is a good day. Let's get into my finds of the day. Starting with the last place that I went to, which was the uh, Goodwill up in Escondido. Been a while since I found anything over there. I did find a dollar bill on the ground. I did not pick it up. I left it there. But I did find a DVD snapper case of a really good movie. I think this came out in the early 90s. Pretty sure early 90s. Uh, starring Rick Moranis and Ed O'Neill. Ed O'Neill from Married with Children. And a really good movie, kids movie, called Little Giants. And it's funny, right before I took off to go hit up some thrift stores, I was watching Adam the Movie Hunter on YouTube. He just went to the swap meet on Sunday. And one of the things he came across was this movie on VHS. Great movie. I love it. It's a fun watch. And it's a quick flipper. Easy 10 bucks. Going up on the bay, spent two dollars and ninety-nine cents, and the disc is in great shape. Oh no, I take that back. There is some very light scuss on the end, but very, very light. So, going up on the bay, should be able to get about ten bucks. Usually, when I find these, and I do find them every now and then. The, the cardboard outer box is usually pretty roughed up, not in great shape. This is one of the nicer finds. This is one of the nicer ones that I've come across. Definitely glad to pick it up for three bucks. Going up on the bay. All right, and then place, place that I went to before that, I'm gonna backtrack, I guess, was the Salvation Army up in Escondido. I stop by there all the time, and usually I come up empty handed. I thought the DVDs were two bucks each. Maybe it was maybe it was on sale today, because I know Salvation Army they always have fifty percent off deal. But uh, I picked up two items, both DVDs, and they were only a buck each. A buck each. So two dollars for two DVDs. First one being brand new, factory sealed. Anytime I see the the logo of Image. I usually check it out because usually it's like a, like a music concert or something like that. Sometimes they go for some good money or like like plays or something like that. This is not a musical. Uh, at least I don't think it is. Uh, maybe it is. It is a Broadway theater archive collection. Uh, Tennessee Williams. This, this is called The Glass Menagerie. Whatever that means. But um, starring... Late great Catherine Hepburn, and I don't recognize anybody else. Music by John Barry, but this is brand new factory sealed. The Glass Menagerie from Broadway Theater Archive, brand new factory sealed. I don't know how fast it's gonna sell, but the last few that have sold, brand new factory sealed, have gone for 25 bucks. So great find right there for a buck. Definitely going up on the bay. Look at Catherine Hepburn. She was a great actress. And then this one I've been looking for for several years now, ever since I found out it was rare out of print. I see one over at Book Office. It's been there for years. For about what it's worth, 40 bucks. It's still there today, years later. I finally came across one. And I only paid a dollar. What did I come across? I don't think I've seen this movie, but I, I definitely want to check it out. I'm a big fan of this actor, John Candy. It's also starring Ma Maureen O'Hara and Ali Sheedy. Love Ali Sheedy. Great actress as well. She's in a lot of great movies. But this one is called, this is uh, from John Hughes and Chris Columbus in a movie called Only the Lonely. If you took a look at this, looks like a 
standard type 80s flick. Doesn't look like it's worth much. That's gone for about 40 to 50 bucks. At least 40 for sure. There's not that many available. So I might even be able to get closer to 50. But for sure, 40 plus shipping. Disc is in great shape. Again, I only paid a buck. Beautiful. And uh, yeah, very shocked to see. Released by good old Anchor Bay. All right, yeah. What? I thought I was trying to see if it was widescreen, full screen, but um, pretty sure it's widescreen. Doesn't say. I'm assuming widescreen. Otherwise, it would say full screen. Going up on the bay, worth forty bucks. Paid a dollar. All right, and the very first place that I went to was the Valley Thrift Store, also up in Escondido. Their movies are two bucks a piece, at least the DVDs are. I found one, two, three, four titles in there. So two times four equals eight, plus the, sh plus the tax. So for $8.58, I picked up the following. This one is brand new, factory sealed. It's an older title. Never seen it, don't know what it's about. But the cover, uh, you know, got my attention. Kind of looked like maybe it's a horror flick, but I don't I don't think it is. Could be wrong. But uh, it is a movie called A Face in the Crowd starring Andy Griffith, Andy Griffith and Patricia Neal. Brand new factory sealed. A face in the crowd. Brand new factory sealed. I should be able to get at least 10 bucks, maybe even a little bit more. Pay $2. Apparently this is brand new for $19.99 at the Tower Records. Tower Records. Who remembers that place? All right. Next thing that I grabbed, I saw this and I was like, oh, okay. Robert Blake. Okay. That is definitely uh, an actor I know. I believe he killed his wife. I think he got away with it, just like OJ did. But uh, he was a great actor. He has since passed. Uh, this is the old movie from MGM. I don't think I've seen this, but it does look interesting. It is a movie called Electra Glide in Blue. So obviously he's playing like a, a cop. He's a motorcycle cop. Uh, and the slogan at the bottom says, He's taking justice into his own hands. Robert Blake. I don't know when this came out. Looks like 1973. So it came out over 50 years ago. This movie is 50 years old. This movie came out before a year before I was born. Yeah. It's an hour and 53 minutes. Looks like it'd be a good, good movie to check out. Wouldn't mind checking it out. But this goes for about... 14 bucks, pay $2, going up on the bay. I always check the disc to make sure they're in great condition. This is also in great condition. Beautiful. Love it when I see really nice condition DVDs at the thrifts. The next one I found is also brand new factory set. I remember finding this before sealed, or no, used, and got like 10 bucks for it. This time it's sealed. Looks like it's from... Uh, Fry's Electronics. It's got the price tag, it's a price sticker on it for $4.99. This is brand new factory sealed. And uh, it's a Nick Nolte film called Farewell to the King. Don't know what this is about, but I do know that I paid $2 plus tax, and I should be able to get about $20 plus shipping going up on the bay. Going up on the bay. And now the last find of the day definitely the find of the day i just found one of these not too long ago at a goodwill in um point loma and i sold it for 37 bucks plus shipping and uh if i had found it a couple months prior they, they were going for like 60 bucks and up but now i'll be lucky to get around 40 dollars. and uh this one actually has the insert the other one that i sold did not this one is just as good, just as minty as the other one. So I should be able to get at least $40 plus shipping. I paid $2 for a copy of, 
And I'm surprised I'm finding these, you know, like right before they close as well. They close, they used to close at six. Now they close at seven. I got there around 610 at night and there was hardly anybody in there. There was no line at the, at the checkout. So uh, I was in and out, but this is the movie called, and I still have yet to see this. I need to check it out. Um, there is a movie called PCU. Flunk them if you can't take a joke. Again, I just sold one for 37 plus shipping. This one actually has the insert. The other one I had did not. The disc, flipper disc, is also, and again, very surprised to find DVDs, movies at Thrist with very nice condition DVDs. This is the first time I found a copy that actually had the insert. So I don't know how rare that is, but uh, I usually don't come across the slip or the, the insert. But uh, this will also be going up on the bay. This is the find of the day for sure. Well, might be this one. But anyways, great day thrifting. Time to upload this video so you guys can check it out. Need to go do some lifting. And uh, just a heads up, me and the crew will be going to Vegas this week. We're going Saturday, be out there Sunday, and Monday. So look forward to that. There should be copies, uh, videos on OGP's end. Sinistalker, he's coming. The wet one, he's coming. And hopefully, he wants to come. He's been wanting to do this for a while, for years. Michael Ray Bauer, Donkey Lips from Salute Shorts on Nickelodeon. You guys know who Michael Ray Bauer is. He should be coming with too. Should be a great time. This might be the last time that I go to Vegas for quite a long time because there's going to be a change coming pretty soon. I am planning on making a move. I'll talk more about that later when things start going into, into fruition. But uh, the last thing that I got to say more of a question to my buddy the wet one i know he's watching i know you're watching brendan did you wash your ass today i'm guessing you didn't but that's okay but anyways that's gonna do it see you guys on the next one bye-bye <laughs>